Hey FurTubers, hope you had a really good Halloween. We're going to be doing something different today. We're going to do quick reviews of some booze. Hope you like them. Welcome back FurTubers of the first quick review of some booze. Today we're looking at Salerno. This is an interesting liqueur. It's derived from the Sanguinello or full blood oranges. We like to call it blood oranges. It's a Sicilian liqueur. And it's interesting because it's distilled in three parts. The first part, they take the meat out of the uh, blood orange and they distill that first. The second part, they take the rind of the orange, get those citric acids and all those yummy oils, put that in. Then they take the Sicilian lemon in the third part of the distillation and they distill that. They combine it together to really round off and create a full bodied liqueur. Now this is 40% or 80 proof liqueur. So it's up there with the same strength of vodka. So you, do, you wanna be careful when drinking this one. Goes great in cocktails, I've been told, but we're not here to make a cocktail with it. We're here to review it. So let's give it a taste. Oh, it's got actual cork on the top of the roof. And oh, it really hits you with that, you know, lemony citrus flavor and scent. We'll get our tasting glass. Just a little bit. Ooh. So holding it to the light, it really holds a nice rim on the side of the glass. It falls down with some nice legs on the side, even fall too. When I say full, there's a small ring of the alcohol and the higher the alcohol, the longer it holds the side of the glass, the higher the alcohol content. But it falls quite evenly and towards the end gets some nice legs on it. Legs are where it kind of drifts off and then pulls together like a graph. First impression I get is, wow, it, it has the lemon you can smell a lot of lemon, but also the orange. And I don't know if you've ever had the blood orange, but it is very distinctive from say a normal orange because these are sweet, where a blood orange is super, super sour and tangy and it really got that bite for you. Quite healthy too. Mmm. You can smell the alcoholic finish. I couldn't compare this to anything. Usually when you think of an orange liqueur, you think of like a Cointreau uh, sort of thing. Let's give it a try. Oh, wow. Whoo, the second part really gets you. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow. Yeah. <clears throat> It's not terrible. So you, sometimes you have a vodka or something you're like, ooh, there is so much flavor packed into that. But at the same time, like, you can almost put in the same category as a limoncello, but without that thick, sticky sweetness that one would find with a limoncello. <clears throat> so many ideas of cocktails for this thing is coming to my head. This is amazing. Mm. And the flavor, like, you get some really intense aromas with it when you smell it, but the flavor you get from it, it's, it's not as what you smell. It's like, it's full bodied and it's there and almost oily in texture, but not in taste and flavor. Just like the thickness and the viscosity of it in your mouth. But um, let's see if it goes down better the second time, because I think I inhaled a little bit. <clears throat> oh, that's better. I had to prepare my palate. But yeah, this stuff, pretty good. So if you need to go get a little Salernero, Salernero, Salernero. I have great difficulty pronouncing the name of this, uh, this one. But yeah, Sicilian liqueur, 40%. I would give this one 4.5 pours out of five pours. Boop, 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 boop. This gives me a thumbs up. Quite good. I look forward to doing some amazing cocktails with this and I hope you guys enjoyed this quick review of some booze. Thanks guys, have a good one, bye.